Oh, oh. Oh, 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 Salut à toutes et à tous, c'est Deli, bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo. Aujourd'hui, on est à la Roche-sur-Yon, au club de la Roche-Vendée. Je suis avec une grosse grosse tout à trois points qui a un, un gros CV, Kalina Mosqueda Lewis. Hi Kalina. Hello. It's a pleasure to have. On va s'affronter sur sa discipline de, de prédilection, le chute à trois points. Je ne donne pas fier de ma peau. Vous aurez la, la petite interview comme d'habitude. Et puis nous, on est parti. You ready I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> the first drill, like just to warm up. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, when you, you're like that and you just bomb the ball, mm -hmm. the first who scores. Okay. You do it in, in three? It's okay, yes. the first in three? What, what is the, the, the rule for you? Like, we, we can fake or...? You can fake. Yeah? Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> you help me. You help me on this one. <laughs> I'm not sure my mind was going in. It's a trick. You let them win the beginning and then you take over. <laughs> Woo! Ah! I needed I needed to shoot straighter, quicker. <laughs> no. ah! <laughs> I was not sure of what I was doing because usually I fake, but against you, I didn't know if it was a good idea. Two one, two one. <laughs> Ready? Oh! Oh, okay. It's the, the last shot, huh? Mm -hmm. Ready? Get a bit touch. Ah! Okay. This is this is spicy, T2. Oh. <laughs> oh <Smart>. my gosh! <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Okay, okay at least at, at least uh, I will say I won one drink. This, <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good one. My first uh, question about your first bas basketball memories. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the first basketball memory that comes to your mind? Uh... First basketball memory? Yeah. Probably that I was terrible when I first started <laughs> playing. I was really bad. Um, my mom used to yell for me to pass the ball when I was in the game because I would always dribble it off my foot. Yeah. And when did you start playing basketball? I and started. Where? I started when I was eight. Yeah. And it was just like a city league. Okay. Uh, where I lived. Yeah. And uh, you went to Yukon. What do you remind from this time, from these years uh, you've been in Yukon? Um, I remember winning a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we won three national championships while I was there, so those were the highlight memories yeah. that I remember. And how is the like the atmosphere and stuff? Because in France we don't have like for the yeah. universities we don't have uh, yeah. like these teams and this. I don't know how to call it, but you know, the fans. Yeah. Even for a yeah. university team. You know. No, it was great. I mean, UConn is called the basketball capital of the world. Yeah. Um, it's not much else to really do in Connecticut <laughs> except cheer for the UConn basketball team. So the fans were amazing. It was, it was fun. It was exciting, you know. Yeah. It was my whole life was just basketball at that point. Yeah. And you came to French Theory Directory after college? Yes. Uh, was that like a goal for you to, or an objective to come to France? Um, I had no idea. You don't really know anything about the yeah. overseas life when you're in college. At least at that point, I didn't. Yeah. Um, so coming to France, it was just like, oh, it's cool. Like I get to go to France, I get yeah. to play. And then next thing I knew, I was here for six years. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> um, what do you, do you like in the French league? Why, why did you stay uh, so long? Uh, I think one of the main things is that we have, I think, the overall best league. Like any team can be anyone yeah. on any night. And I like that. I like how competitive it is. And it, it's exciting. So that's why I keep coming back. Choose the spot. I like the wing. Okay, première manche, pour moi, on part sur la deuxième, la revanche. Allez, tu bon, <laughs> okay, we shoot like the same trajectory. Yeah. Like. Yes! Oh no! Woo! It's close every time. 
Oh my. No. Oh no. <laughs> this is, I like this. You, you're good. <laughs> oh. That's fine. Un partout. <laughs> one, one. I like a challenge. Cayete. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my Two goodness. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to start faking. <laughs> I might have to start faking. Or I might just have to start throwing it up to hit your ball. Nope, yes. Ah, okay. Je vais essayer. It's game ball. Ah. <laughs> yes! Ah, no! It was a close one. It was a great fight. You got your revenge. One one now. Yeah. Final one? Yes. Where? You choose, you choose, you I choose. I choose. Maybe in the corner. Ready? Yep. Mine. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> you hit me. We're like super close. Like every time, yeah. one of us is gonna make it and we hit yeah, each other's yeah. balls out. <laughs> and it's hard because you have to like to release really, really quickly. Quickly. And you can't like shoot up. You have to shoot. Yeah, straight. <laughs> Oh, oh no. mine's too high. Oh, yes! No. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I thought I gave a little too much height. One. One, One zero. zero. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes! Ça se joue à rien à chaque fois. Hein. À rien du tout. Ok, là, il va falloir que je sois bon. Hein. And I can't fake. Pressure. Yeah, pressure. <laughs> yes! Là-dessus, je me suis fait tuer. On a gagné. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. You were also playing in the in the WNBA. You had the great years in Seattle. Uh, you won your first championship uh, mm -hmm. here too. What kind of feeling is it to to be a WNBA champion? Um, it was really special that yeah. year. Um, I got to do it with a bunch of my best friends. Um, you know, I got to do it with someone who I've looked up to my whole life, with Sue Bird being on our team. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a lot different winning a WNBA <laughs> championship comparison to any other one. Um, it, it's just nice, you know, being yeah. a part of that history and um, just being a part of a team. It's, it's hard. It's really, right. really hard. To talk about your game, you're known to be a, like a serial shooter, a, a three-point shooter. Is it something you always had, the, the shooter instinct, or is it something you developed and you worked on? Uh... No, I, I grew up being a post player, so yeah. I wasn't doing much shooting um, when I was younger. It wasn't until like seventh grade okay. that I started becoming a shooter or trying to because yeah. I started playing up and I wasn't growing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had to be a guard. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was shooting a um, thousand shots a day with my dad, waking up early in the morning, going to the gym. And it was a lot, a lot of repetition. <laughs> yeah, except uh, the repetition and uh, shooting again and again. What uh, advice could you give to somebody who wants to improve uh, shooting skills? Besides the repetition, you gotta have a short-term memory. Yeah. You gotta forget about the last shot. If you missed it, if you made it, every shot's gonna have to be with a clear mind. Yeah. You gotta think it's going in every time, regardless of what happened the last two times. You shoot first. I shoot first? Yes. So you want to kill me in the end? Allez, c'est parti. 5 tirs, 5 spots. On l'a déjà fait en vidéo. C'est celui qui en met le plus. We had a... Uh, mid court shot? Yes. After? Yeah. Okay, ready? Go. Oh no. There we go. Ah! Okay, now you're warm. Ah! Ah no, left. This is good. Ah, no short. Ah, no, look. Eight. Ale. Mm. 
10. I'm 10. <laughs> Mid court shot. How many points for the half court shot? I don't know. What seems like a fair. It has to be worth it though, because like even if you miss, you have to be like, if you make half court. Yeah, I guess five. Five? Okay. Five is good. Five. If I can go 15, it's okay. Tire du milieu de terrain pour 5 points. Oh, oh my no, god. No, no. Woo! Too that you you also like read the game really well and you play uh, very much off the ball. Like you don't have the ball and you just move around and uh, yeah. is it uh, something really important when you are a shooter to like to get free space to shoot the ball and uh, Yeah, it's yeah. definitely something that's super important. I think I've learned it more um, being a professional, but constantly moving, constantly, you know, trying to read is something super important to be a shooter. Everybody, yeah. if they know you're a shooter, they're not just going to let you stand <laughs> around and be open. So yeah. you got to be active. And my last question, uh, you played with Suberto. She's like my idol and I want to, <laughs> to see her this summer in Seattle. Mm -hmm. How is it to be a uh, teammate with Suber? Like what, what does she bring uh, on the court of the court and for mm -hmm. a team? Sue it was like the ultimate veteran I could have played with coming into the WNBA as a rookie. You know, she came back to uh, Connecticut a lot, you know, when she needed rehab to work out with us and stuff. But being her teammate, she's just, she's not one of those people. She's obviously the GOAT, she's an, a star, yeah. but she doesn't act that way. You know, she's never going to make you feel like she's above you. Yeah. She's always going to try to help you, talk to you um, whenever there's things going wrong, but on the court, It was just so easy with her because she reads the game so well yeah. and she puts you in the best positions possible. And it was just amazing to be with someone who just, you know, she made you feel like, you know, you were an amazing player like her. And if you had something to say to her, she was super receptive. So, yeah, and she was fun. Yeah. You know, she's a, she's a fun person off the court. I don't think a lot of people know that, like, yeah. Sue loves rap, so she knows almost every song to ev or every word to every rap song, and you know she likes to have a good time just like anybody else. Oh! Neuf dix, allez, nickel. Dix onze. Onze douze. Douze treize. Treize quatorze. Quatorze quinze. Quinze sept. <laughs> ah! Okay. Woo! 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 Let's get five more points. Franchement. Impressionnant. <rire> C'est juste euh, 20, 23. 23 sur 25. Rendez-vous compte. <rire> Peut-être 28 sur 25 bon, en fait. Allez. Oh oh. <rire> you are with us like the perfect. <laughs> Congratulations. Honestly, like it's really impressive. <laughs> Tito told me that you you shoot very good, but your arm is like dangerous, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 28 out of 25. <laughs> it's okay. 
It's okay. It's alright. Bon, ben voilà. J'aurais rien gagné. J'aurais gagné une manche tout à l'heure avant. <rire> Mais c'est impressionnant. Écoutez les amis, c'est la fin de cette vidéo. Bon, vous avez vu, je crois qu'au montage, je vais laisser la séquence en entier parce que c'est vraiment impressionnant. Euh, J'ai eu une manche tout à l'heure là. On a... I was close. I was close. Non, it was close. Yeah. It was close. It was good competition. <rire> Et par contre, après, sur le, sur le concours là avec les 5 spots, j'ai pas rivalisé du tout. J'espère en tout cas que la vidéo vous a plu. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. Plus les coups. N'hésitez pas à liker la vidéo, à la partager, à la commenter. Merci encore au Club de la Roche pour l'accueil. Merci à, tout, à Titon qui est derrière la caméra. C'était Deli et Kalina Moski dans la liste. Merci. À bientôt. Ciao. Ok, ok. I respect you now. 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 <rire> wow, now. Titu, really? <rire>